morning prince charging has stopped about 45 minutes ago 103.3 that's after 45 minutes voltage is 4092 maximum so under 4.1 volts where's the shit here on my dashboard it's all a big mystery this software is totally a mystery and after my hyper mining yesterday 39 kilometers on the gasometer with 78 79 percent state of health well, I tell you what, if, if the bet, that, that's my theory. So if the battery gets permanently overcharged in the morning, so the state of charge is over 100%, I would expect the BMS software, BMU software, will realize there is more capacity in the battery than it actually shows. It pushes in almost 30, or it pushes in more than 31 ampere hours in my case, but the state of health shows only 30.0 ampere hours. So there's over one ampere hour more space capacity in the battery. So there's, there's one ampere hour more capacity in the battery than the same software has predicted and calculated before and it has downrated my state of health to 30 ampere hours but now it constantly can push more energy into the battery so would this not be an indicator for the battery and saying oh look before the prediction i made before was not correct i downrated the battery too far i have to give Andy more capacity again. I was wrong. I apologize. I give you half an amp hour more. Just for the next couple of charges and let's see how we go if I can still push more energy into it than I calculated before. Because the BMU software does exactly the same the other way around. It predicts the battery cannot take that much capacity or that much charge anymore and obviously has degraded. So it downrates the battery saying look when we charge we have to keep an eye on the battery and make sure it's not being overcharged. But this constant overcharge in the morning even 45 minutes after the charge has stopped and it's still at 103 percent that clearly shows there's more capacity in the battery than the BMS has predicted before and, and of, of course I know this is all calculated and it's all a guess an assumption a calculation of the software and the software is not the best as we all know because clearly with 50 60 thousand kilometers the car should not have 20 percent less capacity in the battery that would be a real this fact would turn everyone away of buying this car because we all know we have seen the videos on youtube even brand new cars after four, five, six thousand kilometers, they start losing capacity as per management software. It doesn't mean the battery is already down to 95% after only 5,000 kilometers of driving. That is clearly not the case. Clearly not. Well, I guess at the end, it is still a prediction of the software what state of charge, state of health the battery has. Because yesterday, last night, I charged from 30%, exactly 30.0% state of charge, to 103.3 .3 this morning, or what it was. And I fitted only 7.2... 7.222 kilowatt hours 
into the battery on the EVSE. This is energy going into the system, not the energy is stored in the battery. So I arrived at work with over 70% state of charge, of course. Um, we have used 10.2 ampere hours, which is okay for winter time. About 10-12% more energy usage than in summertime. 20 kilometers on the gasometer, so 19 kilometers down for a trip of 15.3. <laughs> it's all a big guess, huh? Battery is nice and warm, 18 to 22 degrees, and the voltage is 3.922, 3.918. It is expected to lose more capacity while parking now because the battery was overcharged, and it corrects this calculation again while parking so the last time it uh, the battery was like this and i measured um, it was about three ampere hours i lost so this is almost double of the amount which i usually lose and the um, battery gauge in the dashboard is at 58 percent which looks like this so it's a little bit over half half full okay um I'll see you later. Many hours later. Okay, so... Let's see how much loss we have. Minus 2.8 amp hours. So that's what I said I had the other day as well. If the state of charge is over 100%, you're losing more while parking. I'm losing more there while parking. I'm not sure if you're losing anything at all. And wow, this is down to 48%. It was on 58 before. And you can see it has slipped one bar. And that's what I always realized before I had the dog. I could see the, um, the battery gauge and the dashboard going down one bar. And I said, something is not right. That has never happened before because it was always constant or it was even up one bar. If, and, and now it's down. Um, it didn't make sense to me. And when I got the dog, I said, holy shit. It's losing ampere hours while I'm parking. How is that working? And then I did these um, 65 <laughs> videos about looking for the lost capacity. Where's this dust here coming from while I'm parking? I'm losing capacity and I'm collecting dust or what? Holy shit here. Okay, 61.3% and we have a 15 kilometers. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. The good thing is we've got 21 degrees outside and the battery is at 19 and 21, between 19 and 21. So there's a good chance the battery is happy with this temperature setting and gives us enough range to get home. It was 20, I think, was it 20 or 19? So four or five kilometers less on the gasometer, which is just too much. It's too much. And this is something, <coughs> <coughs> shit. And this loss of capacity while parking, um, you can actually find this in other forums of other EVs as well. It's, in Tesla forum, for example, it's called the Phantom, um, Phantom Drain. And it describes actually the decrease of kilometer range while parking. And they have done all the testing as well and did some statistics about it. How many kilometers you lose when you park your Tesla for one, for one day and where all the energy actually goes. But in their case, it is more like because you don't have a, it is more the, the whole system uses energy while the car is parked. So the, the board computers in the Tesla are using all this energy. To, here in this car, it's only a recalculation of the battery management system. I can, I can assure you there's, there's no energy going anywhere. There's nothing happening. There's no balancing happening as far as we know. And um, it is just a recalculation of the battery management unit. Now we should be fine. I just passed the service station and we still have nine kilometers on the gasometer. And we are at 46.3%. 
it should be fine. Close, but it should be fine. battery in the afternoon makes a big difference we've got now 22 and 23 22 to 23 degrees inside the battery and I I'm almost home and I've got four kilometers left in the gasometer 36 percent so it's not even close and not even have to hypermile the car I can just drive normally and there's no problem and this is with under 80% state of charge, uh, state of health. Three kilometers, <laughs> it's not enough time. And uh, 34 point. I tell you, the, the temperature makes a big difference. We've got 22 degrees outside. And last week it was a lot colder. And we had only about 15, 14, 15 degrees at this point of time. So it's a lot warmer now. And the battery, gee. Okay, the car wants me to shut it down. And this, this is all being done without the PHEV box at the moment. Okay, so far today's video and uh, thanks for watching as always. The dog. You stay charged. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia. Signing off into the weekend. I will make more videos on the weekend. I've got so much stuff on my list still. I've and so little time it's unbelievable guys I, I need I need to win the lotto so I can make more videos I've got more time I've got so much on my list okay you've got a good night we'll see us in the next video bye bye I need to come back to get the camera.